Good morning. It's it's not raining. Seems to be the first time it hasn't rained or that I haven't been at work since putting a little bit of um, a tiny little bit of primer on some of this rust some of the rusty spots on the floor. Uh, I'm I'm back in here to start preparing for putting some paint on it um, with any luck, touch wood. Um, this weekend uh, it's I'm still working today tomorrow and the next day um, but first thing in the morning uh, I'm getting out here and doing a little bit little bit of the masking tape a um, little bit of sanding where it's necessary I've got the the red scotch bright pad um, for just scuffing up the surface ever so lightly um, it is only the interior, so I'm not going to go completely crazy on the preparation. And I'll get the I'll get the paint on the thing. If there's any scratches or chips or bits flake off later, I'll just touch individual bits up. So I'm going to leave the doors on. I'll take bits like this off. Take these sort of bits off and just mask to this edge here. Um, because it's still sitting outside No roof over my head, so if we get rain overnight or is that right to drop a rain now? Oh bugger off Ugh. Can't seem to get a break in the weather <laughs> But yeah tape it up prep it up Prime it and paint. Well, that's a practically perfect piece of alliteration right there. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Cutting some pieces of plastic uh, to do the windows um, and in clear plastic so that I can keep some of the light. Um, if I were to tape this up with paper it would get pretty dark in here and I want the light to see what I'm going to be painting. It sound right, boys. sound right boy uh, first attempt with this stuff on the windscreen So far, so good.
Yeah, go on. Laugh it up. I didn't make that bit wide enough, so go go again. If it's worth doing, it's worth doing twice. Um, but I, I've used that. Probably, probably handy to have that on there first anyway. Alright, take two. question now is, is it actually going to stop paint from getting on the window? I guess you'll just have to watch till the end to find out. Oh, I think I, I might have just, I might have just jinxed it too, haven't I? Today's the day, um, Saturday morning, it's about, it's just after 5am, it's blue skies, and I have to get paint done inside this interior this weekend. I hope I have enough paint, and I hope I have enough time. So the last few things to, to stitch up before I get the spray gun out, before I actually put some paint down. Got my red scotch bright pad to just scuff anything up that looks a little bit too shiny. The trusty wax and grease remover to make sure the paint sticks and finish off the last little bit of some masking up so I don't get paint where I don't want it. I'll attach to some of this stuff for the doors, but I'll probably have to do that over a couple of times as I, I'm sure I'm gonna have to get in each side as I paint. All right, <clears throat> finish the rest of my first coffee for the day. Make a start. You're not going to chip in this time? Hey? Hey? It's your line. It's your line. Oi! You over there. No, it's too busy. Good.
all cleaned up, all scuffed up. Oh. Bloody collar's being weird. Um, the inside's clean, it's all been scuffed, um, so paint will actually stick to it. Um, but at the same time, it's the inside of a rather crusty little Hyundai XL race car. So by no means perfect. In fact, probably as far from perfect as you could possibly get. I'm confident that the masking on the front dash and around that area is, is buttoned up quite nice. The, the drop sheet that's attached to the masking tape, it seems to work really well, so I'm liking that. Um, that window seems okay. That one I'm gonna hit with the blowgun before I get started and just make sure that it's gonna stick. Yeah, let's get my spray gun out. See if it still works. See if I can remember how to use it. Hmm. Um, I'm in the shed, I've got my air compressor connected up. Um, I did need to replace the regulator because my one was knackered. For some reason it was leaking and wouldn't set the pressure. So I borrowed one from dad. Thanks dad. Uh, I've got, Whoa, plenty of thinners. I've actually got two of them. Uh, this is the this is the paint I'll be using. Uh, that's the, the colour. I, I, I hope there's enough. There might be a liter and a half there. I think. Um, a bunch of you are already saying no, that's not enough, or ah heaps. Um, my inexperience doesn't actually allow me to know whether or not that is heaps or not enough so we'll find out and and here it is my my work quick uh spray gun um the guys at premier paints in malaga sold me this one this is it here this is it the work quick p10 p102g so some of you might understand what I just said. Gravity fed, decent sized pot. Um, and I've got interchangeable uh, nozzles for the end. So I can go uh, uh, with a thicker spray for primer filler. If I want to put a really nice thick primer filler down. Um, and also a really narrow one for metallics. Not that I'll be painting my metallic. Don't get too excited. I bought this for another project four or five years ago and had a little play around with it, but ultimately that project has since stalled. Uh, that was the combi. I threw some paint down on that to make it all one color, but I shall be using this to paint the interior of the XL. You won't be watching from the GoPro because I haven't got a cover for the lens and it'll get all paint on it. So I guess it'll be a, here's what it was before, I'll do my thing, come back when it's done. There's my little setup. Uh, XL up on pit lane, almost fully masked up. Um, I am gonna mask up the doors as I go basically, because I'm gonna to need to get in and out of probably both sides and the back. So I'll do them as I need it. And my little paint set up here with my air compressor, uh, or my air hose, my little paint, paint gun stand, and all the primer, thinners, all that sort of jazz that I'll need. So nothing left to do but the doing of it all. I've got to say, I'm a little nervous. It's been a very long time since I've painted anything.
Sorry, you missed that bit. I forgot to press the go button. Take a take a breath. Wow, uh, you got to step outside on regular intervals to make sure that you uh, you keep breathing during this job. Um, but I've managed to get the first three quarters of a coat down. Um, I've got to tape off this door now, and I'll 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 go in through the boot area um, once that's touch dry, and I can actually sort of get in there, I suppose. <laughs> Um, I think I, I, I think the coverage is pretty good considering um, it is going on just very thin for this primer coat. I basically just want to have something on there that the top coat will stick to. Oh, a little crooked, aren't you? Okay, tip you over a bit. There you go. Um, right, I've had my lunch and I'm back for the for the fourth quarter not that this is a footy game or anything I can I can basically only paint three quarters at a time because I've got to go into the car at some point to be able to spray it so I started off on the passenger side basically standing in the passenger footwell and I could spray all the way up through to the back here I did a coat over the roof and all the driver's side I'll leave the driver's side taped up. Um, I don't think I'm gonna bother undoing that. But I've got the boot here. Drop sheet comes down and this is the, uh, the rubber molding that goes around the edge of the boot there, holding the, uh, the plastic strip down. Um, looks like it did pretty good. I don't think I got any overspray through there. And it's, it was really easy. That was the main bit. Really easy. So I'll take this off. Uh, try not to get any dirt in there. Because like an idiot, I didn't clean this first. I should have. But I didn't. Oh, don't drop the dirt in it. Oh. I think I'll have to get another one of them. So I'll need another one of them for next time. But, yeah, not too bad. So now, I'll cut you with me. Now I will stand here, and you can see, I'll, you can see I've been standing in the passenger footwell over there. So now I can, now this should be dry enough to, to step on. It's very powdery. I'll have to give it a wipe down before I put a top coat on. Um, yeah, stand here to finish the rest of the coat in the front, but I'm gonna have to tape up that door um, so I don't get overspray all out of there. Doesn't look too bad, eh? First prime coat, yeah. Woohoo! Oh, good evening. Hang on. I think that's better. Um, I am done. Totally done. Not just with the uh, with the primer, but I went ahead and did the top coat as well. Um, so it's almost five o'clock in the evening now. So pretty much a full 12 hour day on on this thing but have me little set up with all the all the various paints this one here 
that's the paint for the top coat and it's all gone um, and I think I got fairly well every surface that I wanted painted covered in paint I really have to update this thing though and um, oh man painting an interior oh, you've got to you've got to paint some step out take a breath get back in there and do some more um, it was quite gnarly um, I ended up going back around and um, I've I taped up this door taped up this door and did all that footwell I, I redid the um, the drop sheet trick in the back here but as you can see I also I also went and added some more added some more um, around the back here because I needed to I needed to stand outside the back of the boot and get into the boot area there was parts of the car I just couldn't get to without standing at the back here and spraying so you want to see what it looks like Oh, it's a bit blowy out here. I um, it's been a little while, so this is all pretty much touch dry now. So I'm going to start pulling all of these bits of plastic and the uh, some of the masking tape off. Done my clean up of my spray gun. It's an awesome little spray gun. Um, I had my moments where I was a bit concerned that I was doing a really bad job, and I haven't done a good job. I can tell you that much. But this has been really awesome. Um, definitely have a lot to learn. But yeah, I shall unwrap this little thing and then we'll have another look. Just taking the, the drop sheet off of the driver's side here. And look at all this overspray stuff. Oh. <laughs> My word. So, um, clearly could have done a much better job taping this thing up. Um, I'm not too worried because that whole outside of the car has got to get a paint job at some point in the not too distant future with any luck. Um, and I think most of this will wash off. I I I know how to get overspray off of paintwork anyway, so if it's a spot that I want to, you know, clean up in the meantime, a bit of a, bit of a clay bar trick will, will help get rid of that. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll keep unwrapping.
the, the little GoPro is getting covered in bloody white painting dust. Um.